<laughs> As we're approaching Har Sinai, uh, we, uh, we, we were all ke'ish echad belev echad. We were really like one person. It's uh, being like one person, as you know, if you're uh, the, the, the ability to, to, uh, to think about other people in chesed, you know, if somebody, if my foot hurts, I can't just say, my foot, everything else in my body is okay. My whole body is affected by any limb uh, within me, and so too any person in Am Yisrael that needs something, that has a that has a need, we have to help them. But everything is absolutely connected. The big connection in uh, Har Sinai is the connection that we all went back 26 generations to the creation of the world, the creation of Adam and Eve, Adam and Chava, and uh, the Rambam says in the very first chapter of his book that the foundation of all foundations. And the pillar of all wisdoms is to know that there is a primary being, that there is a source, Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, who brought into being all existence. All the beings of the heavens, the earth, and what is between them came into existence only from the truth of His being. So now, this is very interesting. I mean, we all learned about Bereshit Bara Elohim, the Genesis, God created the world. Why would the Rambam bring this in the book of Halakha? I mean, let's get to practical things. What do we need to do and how do we do them? Why is it that the first mention of the order of law is the foundation and the pillar of all pillars of wisdom is that Hashem created the world? It says the Rabbi of Lubavitch that uh, even though we learn about it every year, we read it again in school, we have shiurim, we have parashot, but we have to continuously remind ourselves and teach others this principle, foundation, and pillar. Even though we know it, but we have to remind ourselves that Hashem created the world. Hashem orchestrated the world. Hashem keeps on infusing life into the world and there, things are coming together because of the force of Hashem, because of the ratzon, the will of Hashem. And we have, it's a mitzvah, according to what we see in the Ramban, to remind ourselves of that. We knew it. We'll never forget it. But we have to remind it to ourselves. A lot of things need chizuk. The Gemara says, tefillah needs chizuk. Other things need chizuk. Emuna needs chizuk. And as it says, tzadik bemuna torchi. A quick halakha, from the Chok Israel, It says uh, that a person that has a certain amount of money, back then it was 200 zoos either in the bank or 50 zoos that they can trade with. Maybe it was a better coin that people want to do business with you with. Okay, fine, take that, do that. You're not allowed to take tzedakah. It says that, uh, says the, uh, the Mishnah, that a person that does not need to take tzedakah. And takes tzedakah will not pass away from this world until they really, really will need tzedakah, really. And a person that needs tzedakah but, say, but says no thank you will not die until they'll reach a point that they will be mefarnes acherim, they'll be able to give to others. You need it, but you didn't ask. Now Hashem is going to bless you that you're going to have not only for yourself, but also to give to others. As it says, Baruch HaGever HaShayiftach Badonai Great is the person that trusts Hashem. Yes, I need, but I trust Hashem. And so Hashem will be his miftah, Hashem will be his savior. Also, every dayan, every judge, every bedin that does a proper bedin will also uh, have that promise that they are also close to Hashem and uh, that they do not take shokhar. And we see over here that HaKadosh Baruch Hu Yir'e la levav, cease to the heart, Bauch Adonai Amen, Amen. Buenos dias.